Hey, this is Wayne over at the Ram Man. I mean, we've been doing this a long time. Uncle Ron's been redoing boosters since the early 80s, 81. I mean, we were doing boosters before people were doing boosters. And uh, since we's a one-man show, we really quality control things. Now, Midland Rosses are, they are difficult because... Their tolerances are very loose, and compared to a Vendix, it's, uh, yeah, it's night and day. Uh, anyway, so we've got your, uh, Midland Ross, like off of a B-body, this gentleman sent it in, Kate, packed it up really nice. I tell people when they have trouble, uh, in Jamestown, New York, uh, Lewis. So, a lot of people, this happens all the time, and I'm going to be real honest with you. Only about 1 in 10 or 1 in 20 that ever comes here has any problem at all. But people, they, they don't can't test them, don't feel confident to test them, won't do a little field test. And I tell them, you know, just box it up and send it in. So, so we got this vacuum booster right here, like I said, for a B-body. It's a Midland Ross. These are... These are from the 60s. We just rebuilt this one. He says that it's not working correctly. So we're fixing to find out and we're going to test some parameters. Now you have to understand something. These things were old. They're hooked up to a motor running all the time. They are not designed to hold vacuum indefinitely for hours. That was never their design. So here we go. Let's run up the... Let's uh, fire this engine up. We're going to run it all the way up to 25 inches of mercury. As we can see, the, the needle is basically holding right here. So, what we know is this booster right here is holding vacuum. It's just a fact. The cases are secure and it is holding vacuum with no problem. Now we're going to step on the brakes and we're going to use some vacuum. There's a brake apply. We applied the brakes and we stopped. Now you notice that we used up some vacuum in the reservoir and the needle is staying stationary. That means that the booster is doing exactly what it was supposed to be doing. If the poppet valve or the directional valve would mess up, we would see this vacuum drop off when we let off the brake. But when it stays stationary, right there, that's what you're looking for. Textbook. You see it staying right there. That means it's not bleeding off. Bleed off. Bleed off. So, right there. So, this back booster, we've already checked it. Two parameters. Great hydraulic integrity. The needle doesn't lie. It doesn't bleed off at all. At all. You got to remember, this is a minute gauge right here. And it recovers well. Watch what happens with keeping the motor running. It recovers, 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 recovers really fast. Recovers, recovers, recovers. If, it, if the valve was messed up, it wouldn't recover either. It's the control valve that allows it to recover and keeps it from bleeding off. That's your parameters. So, this booster right here, it is a fact of life that it works textbook. We couldn't make it work any better if we wanted to. Wayne, I think you're full of shit. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Make it work better. I'd have to tell you. Boss, can't do it. The facts are the facts. No bleed down. None whatsoever. This booster is absolutely perfect. There is nothing wrong with it at all. You can do a field test. You can just, but I tell people, you got to isolate a unit in order to test it. So you can unbolt it, make sure that the pedal linkage isn't pushing against it, making it bleed off just a little bit. 
<clears throat> way you test anything is you isolate it. So now we've taken the booster off the car. Hell, you can fire up the, the, the engine, take your little vacuum hose or extend it, and you can you could do this stuff at home before you send it off to me. Stick your vacuum on there, get you some vacuum. Take that hose off. You can let it set there for a minute. If you pull that check valve after 30 seconds or 45 seconds and you hear that sucking sound, common freaking sense tells you that the can holds vacuum. Common sense will tell you that the, van, that the can is holding vacuum. You with me? And so here you are, you're standing here, you've got your charger, it's running right here, you've got the old lady in the cab. And you can do this yourself. Oh, see how smooth that works with just the palm of my hand? No indention, no nothing. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth action. You can do all these things before you send it in. There you go, my friend. God bless you. God bless America. And another Ram Man Booster that is good. Absolutely textbook good. Bye.